Evening, Dan and Erin. So the students we talked to say they're doing more to keep themselves safe. They use the buddy system when they walk campus. They're actively looking for the man the university has named as a suspect. Still, the provost says she doesn't believe there's a need for more security on campus. Another warning this week, alerting students to a sexual assault report on CSUMB campus. It's the third students have received in the past month. I mean, to hear it happen once is already really scary. And so to hear that it's been continuing is, you know, really disheartening. The university says it happened sometime between late Friday night and early Saturday morning on East Campus Housing. A female student told police she was raped at a residence on Princeton Court. This comes after CSUMB has identified one of its students as a suspect in two separate rape investigations with female victims, both taking place in campus housing. One of my coworkers actually lived across from the, he said his name tag was still on like his door. So it's just like, you know, you don't know if he's going to come back or, you know, and it's like you shouldn't have to live in a dorm feeling that way. Knowing that I could be at risk just being walking around campus. I take a hall like a pathway to my promontory building and I, sometimes it's dark and I get scared and those emails make me more frightened. University leaders say they are not moved to ramp up security just yet. I don't think that we need more security. I think we just need to all be vigilant. I don't think the campus has become less safe. I don't think the environment has changed. It's just that more people are stepping forward. Knowing that it's being reported and not um, a secret. So I'm just glad that the cases are just being reported and they're getting um, help. The university hasn't released many details about the latest sexual assault investigation, including any description of a suspect which has some students thinking the school should be taking a more proactive approach and focus on prevention. And then as a campus, like the higher ups, they can do more too about the subjects instead of just sending an email. Maybe we could have like talks about it, like how women feel safe are like some events that we could hold to change this environment. Now this latest report of sexual assault is also being investigated by the university's Title IX office and of course anyone with information on any of these assaults is asked to call University Police Department. Dan and Aaron. All right, Sierra, thank you. Thanks, Sierra.